Hello, I am Bentham, and this is episode three of my Kerbal Space Program career mode playthrough. Thingamabob, Bobby Mo, Hujimo, what? I I don't know what it's. I can't I can't decide on what these th series things are going to be called. I'm just t it's it's the it's my Kerbal Space Program thing that I am doing. I will do other things in the future, but right now this is the only thing, and it is me playing through career mode. So let's get into the vehicle assembly building. I hope the sound is good today, seeing as it's, it's constantly variable. Episode 1 it sounded absolutely terrible, and then episode 2 it sounded great. And I do sound tests before every episode, but they only se they, they seem to be a bit crap, honestly. I think this is a better, better quality one, but maybe not as good as episode 2. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do um, an orbiting craft. We're slowly making our way up to a proper um, sp a proper space things. Well, I mean, they're all proper space things. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on, and this will do lots of lovely signs for us. Um, it could cause some problems because it does sort of double our weight, I think. I'm not going to bother checking the weights. Ah, we have better parachutes now, though, so that's fine. We will stick these two on and everything will be glorious. And we will not die. We can even have a backup parachute. Now, this is really professional. So, uh, what, what do, oh, we'll get some batteries on it as well. All this cool s new stuff. Where did I get those new parachutes, actually? I don't remember. Uh, right, what, oh, we want to get the, the goo containment units on. Though I think it, we're just going to do the basic orbital flight, so we won't actually encounter any stuff that we can do science on with the the pods, I, I don't think. I mean, it, there's certain things where you can do science above particular sections of the planet, like the oceans and things like that. So we'll see. Um, we will put another fuel tank. We'll have it basically the same as before on the top, but then on the bottom we want a little extra stuff and this time we will not put a bunch of boosters on that like to blow each other up I'm hearing my peas a lot is it a problem I hope it's not a problem I have not yet had to re-record any episodes of anything so I'd like it to stay like that hmm let's just do this so it's like the boosters but not explodey um, I was going to put some struts on, but I've forgotten. We don't have struts yet. We have not invented the glorious space tape. Which has become somewhat redundant in, in the... Well, not entirely redundant, but a bit more redundant than it used to be in the most recent update. Because it made joints work better. Previously, you had to coat your things in struts to make sure everything held together. But it's a lot better now. Okay. Oh, we want to get some transmitter things on. Um, I've run out of space on the sides. I'll do... I'll do... Uh, there we go. That's not right. Come on. Must be perfectly symmetrical. OCD commands. Com commands it. Demands... I don't know what I was going to say there. I just kind of stopped. Um, oh, I know. We'll, oh, I, Again, there's no room. We'll do it anyway, we'll put some landing legs on, just because landing legs. We do plan to land this. Um, pretty happy with that, that looks... Actually, one thing we could do, we probably... Uh, actually, no, we, we probably do. I was going to take it off and put that on, but I'm not quite sure if it would have the power. So, these three will fire, then that will decouple, that will fire, and then... This will decouple and then these two parachutes will go and if they fail for whatever reason then we have this one here excellent and we will call this Mercury 2 for no particular reason apart from the fact that I've mi called one Mercury 2 or Mercury 1 already I could just as easily call it Gemini and it wouldn't be any more accurate off we go right we're loaded up we have Jebediah once again the other astronauts are getting quite annoyed that it is just Jebediah going to space over and over again. Okay, we will throttle up to maximum. And fire! And this time, rather than burning straight up, we'll actually do sort of interesting stuff. Like, turning. But not yet. Because that's not how it works. Well, actually, there are various 
spacecraft that do start turning as soon as they're off the launch pad but that's usually so that they don't drop stages back on on the space center but we don't care about that because they'll just harmlessly explode so we are we're going a little fast actually maybe I'll throttle back because of all the air resistance at low altitudes you actually do sometimes want to go slower than you possibly can because you're wasting fuel pushing against the air you might as well cruise up to a higher altitude and, and then go Jebediah having the time of his life he doesn't actually have any control over this vessel he's just there f for the sake of putting a Kerbal in, in orbit I believe that's what NASA engineers um, thought a lot back in the space race. The the rockets had men in them just for the sake of having men in them. Whereas the men in them insisted that they were vital pilots. You can never be sure who was right. I'll throttle up now, we're getting to the thinner part of the atmosphere. We have used up a lot of our fuel, but you generally do use up a much larger amount of fuel leaving the surface than you actually do moving around outside. I believe there's a, a term that I, I assume came from NASA, it could have come from KSP um, players. I'll just do my gravity turn. Fancy words. Oh, that's gone. Fire! Oh, fire! There we go. For some reason it didn't the first time I pressed it. Oh, oh, don't turn over too far, that's too far. I didn't. Damn it, come on. Up. Oh. Yeah, there's a term coined by someone or other, which was that if you can get into orbit, you, you're halfway to anywhere. Because the amount of fuel that you use to get into orbit is so massive that if you were to go anywhere else in the solar system, it would take no no more than the, the same amount of fuel. Did I phrase that well? I'm not sure if I did. Okay, let's have a look at the map. Right, um... Our apoapsis, that being the highest point in our orbit, is outside of the atmosphere, so I will now turn over to the horizon. So now all we want is horizontal speed. Okay, we are actually running out of fuel quite rapidly. We may not make it. Right, that's a quite high now, so I will cut the engines and we will wait until we are in space to complete the burn warp my way up and now we're out of the atmosphere we can stop doing physics warp and just do normal warp as it's oh, I suppose you'd call it rail warp or something, no one ever does, they just call it time warp but the way it works is that you can warp really fast because it doesn't need to compute the physics, it just needs to put you on rails that you're already on well, on rails for a path that you're already... I'm not explaining this well. Let's just let's just burn and go. That looks like we might be alright. We're not going to have much fuel left. I need to make sure that I don't end up in, in orbit with no fuel, because then there's no way of getting back. Okay, that's an orbit. There we go. We made it. Jeb, you are the first Kerbal in orbit. Just as you were the first Kerbal in the sky, and then the first Kerbal in space. Okay, um... Ah, the crew report works. We must be at um, a different band of science-ness than we were in the previous flight, so we will keep that for now, I suppose. Um, materials Bay. The science junior thing. Now look at all this, this is proper science, rather than uh, seeing if the goo likes where it is or not. The microgravity has greatly affected the growth of crystalline structures. Loose objects are also flying around the bay, bay in a very messy but fascinating way. And then we'll do the goo science. The goo seems to have clumped into a sphere. It also appears to have become brittle. Uh, well, at least it, it wasn't just expressing an opinion about its situation. I'm not saying it's not allowed to have an opinion, it's just a bit weird that it does because it is goo. We'll reset that because we've already done the science on this one and doing it again on that one won't do very much. We can use it when we come back to Kerbin. I don't know where we'll land, maybe the sea and then we'll be able to do something with that. Um, 
what to do. Let's EVA and let go and we will do a report. Ah, we were above Kerbin Shores. Wow, that was lucky. Seeing as shores aren't generally very big. Well, they, they can be long but not wide, so I suppose I was pretty lucky in managing to, to nab that piece of science. I suppose if we can do EVA science for all these different like surfaces of Kerbin, we might as well transmit it if we can work out which one it is. Is it that one? It is. Okay, if we transmit that, which takes up not much, seeing as we now have these these batteries that I can't highlight. I can highlight everything around the batteries. Okay, we will hop outside again, and this time we shall be above something else. Oh, I have not let go. I don't know if that makes a difference. I think there's um, signs for being on the ladder. Ah, now we're above the water. So we will keep that. Grab. Get inside. And select it. And transmit it. We can do this all day. We'll have loads of science. I see we can't do it all day. We can do it till the batteries run out. Uh, right. We'll hop out again. Let go again. And more science. Oh, that's the water. Oh, it looks like we're over a huge sea, so that's no good. And it's also getting dark, so I'm not going to be able to see what we're over. Let's just get back inside. We can do some EVA signs another time. Where are we now? We are there. Let us warp around, I think. Let me just check I've done all the signs. All the signs. I suppose we'll transmit that... Oh. Oh damn it, not that. Uh, I want to transmit the crew reports because we have plenty of room for it. Thing is, you don't want to transmit the science from the goo canisters or the uh, the materials bay because it's less efficient. If you if I review the data, it's got a recovery science gain and a transmission science gain. So basically, you want to recover it because it's just better. Um, and we might as well because we're not going to be using the goo things again while we're up here. So what? we will do is warp around. I want to see if we can land somewhere near the space center. Or maybe I'll just try and land in the sea and then we'll do some sea science. Okay, about here I think. And then we will point retrograde. That's backwards in space talk. And then we will fire. And I'll watch our orbit, see... Oh, it's going to be at night when we land. Or sunset, which would actually be quite cool, I suppose. Right, that should... Actually, we'll, we'll get it till it's touching the water. And then what will happen is, before we get there, we will sl be slowed down by the atmosphere, so hopefully we'll land around here. To be fair, I'm aiming for the opposite side of the planet, so don't expect brilliant stuff. We do have a bit of fuel left so we could do some crazy spinning around and burning in different directions to try and be more accurate. Okay, we're in the atmosphere. We'll time warp. Where are we now? Oh wow, we've got an entire continent to go over before we even get to there, so I think I may have messed it up. Oh, well, we might land in desert. This is the boring bit. Don't worry, it gets interesting in a second when everything sets on fire. Jeb is just happy whatever's going on. Let's look inside. It looks just like before. Oh look, the sky! It's turning because aerodynamics. What's the button for leaving? There we go. Now going engines first is probably something that no spacecraft has ever done sla safely because well the, the for a start there's a it's there's a, a hole in it so the air will get kind of rammed into there and into the all the fuel tanks full of highly combustible fuel and ev everything will set on fire and i imagine that if you actually if this was r real life this would just all explode halfway down looks like we're going to land in the sea then 
I really misjudged this. I know I was aiming from the opposite side of a planet, but to miss by, like, a third of the distance. I've been a lot more accurate before now. In fact, I've been a lot more accurate in videos I've done before now, back in when I was doing Let's Lag and it was all terrible. It's a pretty cool image, isn't it? I should take screenshots and stuff. That's what YouTubers do, right? They take screenshots in the middle of the ep in the middle of the videos and then use them as thumbnails. Except I'm lazy. So my thumbnail is just a shot from the video, which come to think of it, could it, it it is entirely possible it could be this because this is you know a good couple of minutes. How long have I been going? A little bit too long. I've remembered to put the timer on this time. The plan is to have 10 minute episodes, but the thing with KSP is missions take longer than 10 minutes unless you're doing something simple like putting a pod on top of an SRB like I did in the first video. So, I don't think I'll split this up because that would well, for a start, I didn't put any place in to split it up, and it would just be... It's stretching it too far. I suppose if... When I'm doing stuff like going to the moon and other planets, I'll probably... Why am I not time warping right now? Well, actually, what I should be doing is decoupling this. And then activating the parachutes. And then time warping. So, yeah, I'll, I'll probably keep this to a single episode, but I'll wrap up quite quickly. And then in the future when I'm going to the moon, maybe I'll... I'll oh, there goes the, the stage, wherever it went. I didn't see where it went. This should have, there was a splash somewhere. Let's extend the legs, for no particular reason. This looks quite nice, doesn't it? Hmm. It's a, it's a triangle and stuff. I don't know. Those parachutes are clipping through each other. That's something they still haven't fixed in KSP. I suppose it's not exactly a priority. And if you were doing detailed parachute physics, it would probably tax the computers quite a bit. Computers. I really, I need to know more about just ex exactly what different computer components do to a game. Cause like I know you need a good amount of RAM and processing speed and a good graphics card and things like that. But, like, what's the difference between RAM and processing speed? I've never bothered to actually work it out. Like, what they would do if you had a lot of one or not a lot of one. That's enough filling time. We've landed now. As we gently tip over... Oh, that, was, that wasn't very gentle at all. And we will do a crew report while water probably floods into... Well, actually, would, water wouldn't flood into the cabin because it's airtight. What am I thinking? Okay, that's some science. Um, and, oh, we have one of the goo pods. So let's open up that. The goo escapes into the water! No! Get back here! Oh well, it gives us science. Right, we will recover. And it's given us 51 science, giving us a total of 77. So let's hop into the science lab and see what we can get. Now these things here cost 90, so that's... nope. What stuff is there there? Oh, that's a proper science lab there. Fancy stuff a bit too far away. That's a solar panel that, that we could really do with those, but we'll leave it for now, I think. Um, ah, radial decouplers would be... we'd get some use from those, and then we can either go for this and have some science left over, or one of these. I'll go for this. It's got a big SRB and a and an engine with um, what is it? Thrust vectoring, that's it. All sorts of pretty useful things. Okay, so we we don't quite have enough science to buy any more stuff unfortunately, so well, it probably means that next time we'll get science enough science to buy two things, or whatever. Anyway, as the sun sets over Kerbal Space Center, or maybe it's rising. No, it's setting. Yeah. <laughs> as the sun sets over Kerbal Space Program... Yeah, god damn it. I'm I'm trying to wrap up quickly and it's just getting longer and longer. Okay. As the sun sets over Kerbal Space Center, I will say goodbye. There we go, I did it. Right, okay, end. Leave now. I'm done. Bye.